Here we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done Oh, the good times just begun We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Caught us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright Hello, happy people. Hope you're doing wonderful. Good to talk to you. Uh, a new, beautiful, clear day in the good old North Pole, AK. It is zero degrees. Does that mean that zero heat or zero cold? It's just, it just means it's zero. Uh, we are excited to try something today. Uh, we just had our uh, Starlink show up. So I'm not gonna get my hopes up. It would be awesome if it worked. But I mean, we live in North Pole, Alaska, roughly the middle of the state. If it does work, that would be cool because not only because you know it works on a satellite system, as I understand, like low orbiting satellites. And if it does work here, that means that there's a good chance that it'll also work in maybe some of the remote villages in Alaska. Like I said, because roughly in the middle of the state. So that's that's the theory. That's the theory. My brother also got it uh, hooked up. I think it was last week, and he's had some struggles. He said it was the cold. He thought was messing with the gears and I'm like it's not even cold it's zero degrees like what the it's not even like 30 or 40 or 50 below zero so we're gonna we're gonna see we're gonna see if this thing works uh not sure but we'll open it up and I think my wife downloaded like a um, uh, an app I guess you're supposed to use I'm really hoping it works because we don't have internet here at our house uh, we have electricity so I mean we do have electricity so we are grateful for that but there are no wires that come here uh for either phone or internet uh, nothing and it's not available. Maybe it's because you know the company's heard that this whole Starlink thing was coming in So they're like yeah, we're just not gonna invest putting in wires until we see how this whole Starlink thing works That's my theory. That's my theory of why why we don't have it available here But if it works that would be so amazing It'd be fun. We'll give it a try actually if you guys have Starlink Maybe leave it below let us know how it works. Does it work for you? Uh, and like what kind of speeds are you getting? So we'll kind of show you what speeds we have here because we just operate our internet off of like a little Like a my fights like a cell phone Sometimes it's like two megs down sometimes it's seven and then the up we can't like like this video You're watching more than likely unless this happy Starlink system worked uh, My wife had to go drive several miles down to her shop to go connect internet there to be able to upload So I just know we need internet. Hopefully it works All right guys. Well me and little miss, <laughs> we're getting ready to head on out. He is hard at work trying to get the old Starlink up and running. Seems to be doing good. Blasting speed now, at least for us. Blasting speed. But we read a little caveat in the old instructionios that it might not work past like 20 below. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so if you don't see any vlogs, that means it's 23 below or colder. <laughs> No, that would not happen because I always have the shop as a backup, but that's a little bit of an issue here. I mean, we get very cold and we stay cold for like longer durations. So we'll see. This might be a trial and see, but right now he, all he has is he has it out in the yard. Yep. And then you're thinking of maybe popping up on the roof or are you just going to leave it there and see what it does? I don't know. Let's leave it up here. We'll, we'll check in later tonight, check the speeds and see if things have choked down a little bit. Right. Because there actually, there was a comment too that we saw of being able to test it different times of the day. Genius. Um, which we were kind of planning on doing. So we need, we want to like let it see how it does because not everybody's on the internet right now or it's not super active, right? Yep. Oh yep. goodness. We'll check with the higher active time. It's okay. Oh, he's so right. Okay. She's tired. Yeah. She's tired. She'll go right to sleep in the car. And guys, I got, I got the diaper bag. And yes, I do have a backup one now located in my car. I got it. So I'm super grateful that we were actually able to do our Alaskan apparel shoot uh, this past weekend because it got really, really cold. Um, and being out for long durations, and then we got to go on our little ice skating rink. I'm actually going to send you back to a little bit of the behind the scenes of that. 
It was stinking fun. The girls were amazing. It was awesome. Why can't they breathe? You're, you're... Oh, okay. <laughs> I just thought you were really hardcore. Hold on, it's time for it to reappear. Alright, Brittany, is this what you thought it'd be? Oh, everything and more. <laughs> super excited to be here. Everyone's like super professional, right? And there's no laughing, and we're just super serious. Very serious, hardcore. made a eggnog latte iced. Guys, go follow Jacob Lincoln. He does these awesome coffee videos. They're bomb. Him and Karis, you, you've seen them on the vlog before. They just moved, sad, but they're doing like these, he's doing these fun coffee videos and oh my gosh, all his recipes are awesome and they're filmed and it looks like a stinking commercial. Anyway, go check him out. It's pretty awesome. Me, Evelyn, and baby girl, we're gonna run in, uh, go drop her off at gym. Um, I'm gonna meet up with a friend and drop off a giveaway for her that um, Alaska Peril is gonna be doing. Drop that off to her and then we should be good to go. And then who knows what will happen after that. Head on into town. It looks like a machine gun stand is our Starlink. What? This is our access to the internet. Ooh. The satellite! That's right. There. You think so, huh? Yeah. And then, what do we do? Oh, we don't, Garrett, we are men. We don't need instructions, do we? Last time at the store, you needed instructions. Okay, we'll edit that out. Look at that. See? I didn't need instructions yeah. for that. So it's this. Like, it's a 75 foot of cable. This is your wireless router. This just plugs in down here. Plugs into the wall. This guy plugs in to this right here. Boom. Why is this open? And then we are off to the races. So that's all we need. Just gotta plug this in the wall. And hope nothing blows up. Okay, I know it looks like I'm looking at the instructions, but it's complete figment. But I'm already seeing an issue here. Do you see under temperature operating? So it looks like we can only go negative 22 degrees. That's going to be a problem. You can do it. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Oh my, oh my, oh, oh my, my goodness. Oh. What do we get? So out there we're getting somewhere. Oh, oh wow. We're getting oh a, we're getting a boost. It's hopping around a little bit, but wow, that's way faster. So we've got 12 megs down right now. What do we have for up? That's the big question. We don't have a whole lot of up here. He's scared. He doesn't know what to do. Wait. Oh, oh, it's 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 razor. Ah. What do we have? What do we have? All right, so that is our speed with Starlink. That's our speed of Starlink just out in the yard, not on the roof. So that's what we got. We're just sitting in the yard. We don't have it on the roof or anything. That's not too bad. That is way better than what we have right now. Really? Yep. There it is. There it is. The old Starlinker. Bye. Bye. Guys, she's so big. 
I weighed her the other day. Like just like a fake little, you know, the fake scale. You know, like where you weigh yourself, weigh her. She was over 12 pounds. You were over 12 pounds? Oh my goodness. Okay, it's not looking good here. 604, we're offline. Are you talking? Okay, do you have any honest opinions about Starlink? What do you think? Do you think it'll work? <laughs> All right. She says yes. Like this? Yep, and then just, yep, just tap. And hold her tight, because she can fling her head back. See how she's strong? She, ow, she's very strong. She's very, there you go. Brother got you. You burpee? Good job, Care. Our life right now. One of us is sleep deprived and one of us is okay <laughs> all the time. Yeah, Took the baby last night. I'm gonna take her tonight. Sleep. It's gonna be You're fine. You're not taking her. You I, cannot handle it. I do fine on no sleep. I do totally fine. <laughs> he is out of his mind. This is currently where we're at here. We're back online. It was offline 10 seconds ago, and now we're back on. Well, we check speeds off of a, a, a different app as opposed to the Starlink amp. App. I imagine the Starlink app, they could be lying to you, like I don't know, so we just use a different app. The fastest I've seen is 36-ish uh, megs, and the slowest is about 12. What did we have before? Up, best case scenario for us was right around, I think, four or five. Of what we did have? No, actually, it was like two. And what do we have like now? It was like two up. Uh, it's anywhere from, I think the lowest I've seen is around five, and the highest is like 12. It's pretty good. So right now, currently, schooling program pays for our internet mm -hmm. because there was no internet service out here and we're like, hey, we really could use some internet for the kids' school. And they're like, oh yeah, they provide different MiFi's. So they do especially do it like out in the villages and things like that. Mm -hmm. So they got us one, so we don't pay anything. It comes, it comes out of our allotment. Right of what we use for our, like, our budget for school. And they don't choke the speed down, which, <laughs> choking it from five, like, how much lower can you go? You're yeah. like, dial up. So, with Starlink, we're gonna be charged 110. That is 110? I think 110 a month. Okay. The unit itself was 550, just for the unit. Yep. So you buy that, and then you get charged a certain monthly fee, so. And it's just on, like, a reoccurring. I'll be curious to see. A few pros here. Uh, First of all, it works in North Pole. Like it works in North Pole, Alaska. Okay. That's pretty good, right? It's pretty good. It wasn't too bad to set up. I would say it's fairly easy. Okay. Um, it is faster and cheaper than satellite internet. So some cons, negative 22 is the cutoff. Boom. Maybe some of the coastal areas won't have an issue here of Alaska, but where we are, that's gonna be an issue. Uh, also, just putting it in your yard, we have pretty low trees. It's cut down pretty well, but it is, uh, It'll work and then it'll hop offline and then it'll work and it'll you hop offline. You think it's our obstruction of our house though? That's, That's what it says. In the way. That's my theory. So yeah. we're gonna go put it on the roof and we have pretty high peaks here. So yeah. if we put it on there, I'm guessing it'll probably work. Yeah. I'm hopeful it'll work well as soon as we put it up on the roof. I and think then it'll we'll, work a lot we'll better. We'll test it out. Then we'll tell the speeds because maybe even the speeds will fluctuate. We'll increase. Yeah, my brother had it and he noticed speeds a lot higher than we had, but he put it up on his roof. Yeah, so maybe we'll try that. So, so that's some of the downsides is putting it up on your roof, especially right now in the winter time, it's gonna be a little tough. You gotta run a wire, uh, a pretty good size wire, probably a three eighths half inch size hole you'll have to punch in through your house if you wanna have it permanently attached. So that is kind of a downside there. We're gonna go through crawl, crawl space. For right now, I'm just gonna screw it to the, uh, uh, I need to get some cold weather roofing tar and I want to screw it in place and then just drop the wire down through the crawl space for now. And then we'll see how it works. Oh. So I did notice too on certain games where you have up and download speeds, uh, it wasn't super tight. It would kind of lag out for a little bit. So again, that might just be because we're, you know, have our house in the way of our obstructions. I'm hoping it works. I hope it works because it would be amazing. That would be so cool. <sighs> but that option. Regardless, we know it's not going to work in probably January, February when it's colder than 22 below. Or maybe it'll way. just be, maybe they just have to say that. Oh, well, maybe. Okay, we're going to do official 
cold weather testing. Yes, That's we will do. definitely let them know. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> side works. note, auto manufacturers will fly their vehicles here True. and do cold weather testing. We've seen Porsches, we've seen Audis, we've seen Mercedes, we've seen, they like cover up all the insignias because they like do. They're like black and white cars. Yep. Like little zigzaggy looking cars. It's and, so weird. And they'll have like, you can see them, they have all the little computers, they're running diagnostics yeah. because this is where you do a cold weather testing. Have they tested Tesla? I don't know that. See? That could be. That could be a red flag. <laughs> so we're gonna do some cold weather testing here on this uh, this whole Starlink thing. Yeah. See how it works. I do stuff like this. Try to help you guys out too. If you guys are moving here, trying to get some ideas. I'm just excited it sort of works. Mm -hmm. Like that's huge. Like just that step alone, I think is wonderful. Maybe they'll so. be able to beef up the interface around here too. Yeah. They just keep throwing up satellites every time. Throwing up satellites. Boom. It's gonna be awesome. Not crazy. What world are we living in? Hey guys, well, thanks for coming along. We have no idea what it looks like, but we hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Three. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye, YouTube channel. Bye. We have this hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. You and I, the future is bright.